I have got this knot in my apron and I need to undo it so I can tie it higher. Hello friends, welcome back to She's in Her Apron. I am so glad you're here. Welcome to another Motivational Monday. Okay, if you're new here, I invite you to click that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of the fun and get alerted when I post. Okay, today we're gonna talk about launch pads and cleaning out your purse. So I've mentioned the launch pad for several years now and I learned this trick about seven years ago and it's really been helpful when I do it. There's nights I don't get it ready and boy do I feel the effect the next day. Okay, a launch pad is an area of your home, like if you have a mudroom or back porch or back door or your front door. Um, it's an area where you can drop your purse, your backpacks, your sports bags, your briefcase, your church bag, anything that you need to get out the door to leave in the morning. So we have a spot here by the garage door. So it's here or by the coat rack by my front door. This has their book bags ready, everything that they need in there for the next day. So the night before we get the book bags ready for school. Um, my church bag, if I don't get this ready on Saturday night, it's not a big deal. As long as I can get it ready and put by the door by the time we have to leave for church. We have late church, our church starts at one. So in the morning when I'm getting ready, I just make sure everything gets to that door that we're going out of so we could grab it and go. So that is your launch pad. It is seriously when you need to get up and leave the house very quickly, the bags are ready for you. Just take them and go. It's been such, such, such a big help. So come along with me today as I get my purse cleaned out for the new week and get our launch pad ready for Monday morning, which is today for school. Come along with me. Okay, here is my church bag. I absolutely love this bag and I got it from Shopco. I used to bring a bag that was just for the kids and I would throw one or two of my things in it, but I would have toys for them, snacks, things for them to keep them busy and quiet um, and their hands busy so they could listen to the speakers in sacrament meeting. And um, But now they're older, the only thing that we bring to church to maybe keep them a little bit busy, mostly Boston and Shaley, is coloring books for them. They love the adult coloring books. so. That is all that we take for them to keep them busy during the first hour of church where we take the sacrament and listen to the speakers. The rest is for me and for what I need for my church calling. I like having hand sanitizer at church and I love having mints and maybe some <laughs> chocolates in my bag. You gotta have chocolate sometimes. I also always add in my planner in my bag. That way when I am having quick little meetings or announcements pop up that tell us some upcoming events, I can write them in. And also there's a section in this planner that I have and I'll have a link down below for it. It's the mom on the go planner or mothers who know planner and in it there is a section for my church where I can write down some inspirational things and um, comments that people have made that just struck me and I can write them in there so that's what I do and it helps me pay attention really. Also with the link below about the review of this planner there is a coupon code for you guys if you'd like to order one so check out that video. So I just hurry up and get it ready and stick it at the launch pad. So it's something that I do on Friday, and if I don't get to it on Friday, as long as I get to it during the weekend before Monday, is clean out my purse. Because we as women, I don't know what we do in our purses, but we collect things, it's like the store all, you know, your kids get a piece of candy or wrap or trash, what do you do with it? You shove it in your purse. Anything anyone gives you, it goes in your bag. And so it's good to give your purse a good clean out once a week. So here is my purse. This I got from Ross. Okay, so I love this purse because it has three compartments and then this little pocket back here I could slip my phone into. So it needs to be cleaned out.
I always keep my wallet in the middle. Okay, whenever my planner, when Sunday's over, I put my planner back in my bag like this. And so I love this purse because I could put water bottles, my camera, my phone, anything extra for the kids here. Um, and when I go on a date, I grab my smaller purse that I use um, with the kid, you know, going out with Derek, I use something smaller. But cleaned out my purse. It's ready for the week, you guys. Woo woo! Okay, so this is what we do to get ready for the next day and definitely do on Sunday nights when we are getting ready for school. What we do is we find the book bags for one because they can get moved all crazy places during the weekend, especially when they're doing homework. So we gather the book bags, the lunch bags, and any sport bags that they need after school, they can get in the car. We make sure their homework folders are back in their backpacks, and we also make sure that their lunch boxes are on the counter so that way in the morning we can hurry and put their lunches in them. I also keep our keys hung up by the launch pad. That way when we're running out the door, we can grab our keys and go. But it's so nice to know that you can get out the door and not have to scramble looking for homework, looking for books. Another thing that you could do, another added step that can help you without having such chaos in the morning is maybe even put your shoes by the launch pad because it is crazy getting out the door and there's always at least one kid that can't find the other shoe. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you liked that. Um, if you don't have an area that you have a launch pad, create one of your own. Find a space in your home that, that could be your launch pad. It could be a bench, it could be by the door, it could be a hook system, um, anything you like. If you have a launch pad, where is it? Please share with me. I would love to either see it. Ooh, tag me on a picture on Instagram or something. I don't know. Let's do that. Um, but let me know what do you do for a launch pad, and this will give the creative juices flowing for everybody else. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a happy Monday, and we will see you soon. Bye.